Hi, I want to welcome you to Memory Making Memories with Melody. This is a hardcover book, gutted book that I have done collage on top of and uh, clear gesso so that I can now do a alcohol technique to it, the spray alcohol inks, and try to make my galaxy. This is uh, intended to make a galaxy looking image. So we will see if I can manage it. I have some just pieces of cardboard and such underneath here to to get some of the ink. Now I've I've watched a couple people do this, but not that many, so I'm just gonna wing it the best I can. But I know that it is good to put down your light colors. Uh, in the beginning and then layer up from there so that's what I'm going to do so there is some yellow and I'm going to be using purple these are homemade and so I can't tell you um, you know a, a name of anything but I can tell you <coughs> that you can make them yourself with markers. So if you find, um, now I'm gonna put a little bit of this in there. This is a pink. It looks really orange, but when it dries, it has more of a pink to it. And it has mica powder in there that I went ahead and got some mica powder. And I'm just gonna put a little bit to have the yellow and the orangey pink come together, so now. I can set the yellow and the pink right there, orange right there. Um, let's see, I have some dark red that I'm not sure I'm going to use. This is a brown, pink, brown. Let's spray it right here and I can make sure what it is. Nope, it is a reddish. Okay, so it's a red. I'll just leave that there. But I don't want to actually probably use much of it in the... my. Uh, my, my bottles are getting a little bit corroded, so it's going to be time to wash them under some hot water. This is a deeper purple. And there's a bit green, which I'm not sure I'm going to put any green in here. There's my brown, and I have a little bit of shimmer in my brown to make it um, more of a shimmer spray. I have a little bit of mica in there. So now, I've got some of my light areas, but I'm going to have to start getting some of the darker colors in there. I think I'm going to start right here with this blue and just kind of start getting some movement in there. And then come in with this one. There we go. So now because I had put down the first layer, it started to move. And there's some purple. And I don't want too much because I don't want it to actually be lines, but I want it to blend. Do you see how that's blending there? That's my goal. I don't actually want lines. I just want it to blend. So I'm taking this slow and methodical because the fact is, is I have not done this before and I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing. But I know what I think I want it to look like. So I'm just going up from there. And so this is a really darker, more dark color. Uh, it's kind of like a, a, a blue, navy, navy blue. So now, if I like the way this is going, I actually like it going into that green like that. And I made the green from the yellow. Something in the the blue and the yellow got together. So then I could spray maybe a little bit of green over here. Since I, I don't um, not like it there. And then we could get some teal off onto this corner. And start letting things blend, move around a little bit. I'm deliberately not drawing it because I want it to blend right now. I'm going to see about putting a little bit of pink. This is a really light pink. Just barely. 
just to uh, I'm trying to get this a little bit lighter so that it will blend into this blue a little better and I'm trying to decide out of the colors that I have what would do the best and I think maybe the purple will help me there we go there we go there we go just had to think about it a little bit now I can come in with this blue and thin it out with with a little bit of blue get that moving now I'm thinking I'm gonna go back this is a really dark purple and I haven't sprayed it yet so let's see what it does around this edge over here yeah it's a really dark I don't think I like it that much I think I'm gonna stick with this purple this blue this dark 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 blue and I just want it on the very edge and then my light blue comes in and it's my it's my kind of my my blender I could throw blender on there but honestly I don't want to um, get it any wetter than it already is so I like the teal and I think what I'm going to do is maybe let this red maybe this red on the far side if I can get it to work there it goes just a little bit of, of dark contrast thread now this is too light right here for me but I have to be really careful because um, one spray will just change everything so and I want to keep I want to keep some of what I've got going and not and not change it but I want to change up in here so let's see if this blue um, let's see what the what the brown does just to tone tone things down a little bit there we go now that's got a lot of mica powder in it which gives me a lot of shimmer that's awesome I'm gonna do that here too oh my goodness okay I'm gonna let that move around a bit you could see it move all the little mica powders or little particles are moving around over there okay so now I'm kind of wanting it to shift a little and I still oh what do I want to do I still want that just a little bit darker though I'm gonna I'm gonna have to come up now that I've gotten this far I'm gonna have to decide um, some more colors right because some of the colors I have are working really well for what I'm trying to create and some of them are not so I can always just make new colors so I got to get some more dark in there it's just the way it works so let's go ahead and get this purple put the put that in let's get some red up there but we're going to tone it down with some teal okay so got a pretty good swirl going on needs to be a little bit darker in a couple spots but I just hate spraying this one it sprays out just so dark so I'm gonna try maybe if I do it from up here there that did that did a little better definitely better than to be really close okay so we have teal purple red red purple red teal let's go into the green in this corner and see if we can get a good dark green no nope, that's light green that one's a little bit darker i need to make a darker green that's on my to-do list and sure why that one's doing that buy cheap bottles and this is what you get but I didn't know if I was gonna really want to continue to do you know if this was gonna be a thing for me and so now that it is I'll I'll invest in uh, better products but so I'm gonna get the dryer oops sorry about that
this area. I need to work on that area. Got to decide though what color is going to give me the best results. Oh, this is where it is difficult when you have limited limited resources, but we can make this work. We can make it work. I wonder if this orange there we go. That helps. Oops. That helps a little bit. Okay, so there's that. Now, this one was a really dark red. So we're getting getting some colors in there. I'm liking the swirl of color. I'm trying to get the white out of the background. I still have some of my collage pieces. I've shown a lot of texture, which I think looks really good in this situation. But I need a darker, I need something that I can tone down all of these colors without muting them completely. So I have, let's see, I have Shimmer Mist. This one's pink, I don't want that. This one's going to show up too light too, I think. Let's do it. Let's mix something up in this bottle. This is heirloom gold, and I already added extra alcohol to it because it was getting uh, low. And I'm going to come over here. And find a color. I don't think that green is going to be the best thing, but I do think that I might could make either indigo blue or denim blue. Let's start with denim and then if that doesn't give me what I want we'll do the indigo. So I'm gonna I'm gonna um, become a chemist here. That was about five drops. Okay. That is not very blue. It's almost not blue at all. Hmm. <laughs> Gonna need a lot more. So let's do the indigo. That's the darkest blue that I have. Let's get that. Wow, that actually looks very purple. <laughs> I already have a lot of purple. Yep, purple. Okay. Darn indigo. Darn, darn, darn you. Stone washed stream, sailboat, pond, Baja blue. Let's do the jacquard Baja blue. I know that that's a really good just dark blue. Now I'll either hate this color and just keep messing with it or end up loving it and never be able to recreate it, but that's okay. That's okay. That's still purple. It's a dark purple, but it's still purple. I really, 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 really wanted... Let's try the sailboat blue. Let's do it in here. Let's just darken this one. That's a nice blue. That's Sailboat Blue by Ranger. Mixed with a blue marker. That's a nice blue. Let's see what we get there. Yeah. Oh, goodness. See, who would have thought? Just got to keep trying. Keep trying. Got to get some of these areas just toned down a bit. Now, whew, I'm starting to get a headache. Got to be in a well ventilated area, ladies. Okay, 
So I want this darker, so I'm going to go ahead and spray this really dark blue up here. Alright, to blend though. If it's not, if there's not enough alcohol to move it for it to move around with other inks, it's not going to blend. The colors will just land on top of each other. And I want them to blend. Okay, so this edge over here has got too much orangey red on it, so I'm going to do that. And I want it to blend in. So I'm going to do that. Because the galaxy, you guys, is going to be dark. It's not going to have that much bright. Right areas. At least, at least this galaxy. I don't know, honestly. The one I'm trying to make it doesn't have that many light spots. I really like that up in there. That's turning out nice. I'm gonna tone down that mica right there just a bit. Okay, so I want this to be darker right there. I'm not liking that, so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to do this. And I'm going to move all of that so that it can get this in the right direction to make this move. So what do you think, guys? I got a little bubble there. It's all starting to bubble a little bit. If I get too close. I'm wondering if I got too much gold in there. Too much of that uh, brown mica powder. I wonder what would happen if I just did a slight... Ooh. Ah. <gasps> There's my whites, you guys. Oh my gosh. So this is the Perfect Pearls Mist. And this is Perfect Pearl. And then I'll do an actual white over it. But that, that gave me my background. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at that. It's starting to come together. Oh, I really love it, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to splatter it with this. This is white. Um, white linen ink spray delusions. Oh, I didn't quite want that many, but I'll take what I get, right? I could mop up. Let's see if I can mop that up right there. I just don't really know if I like that. Those two together. Um, I can figure it out. Make it work moment. Well, I want to thank you for joining me in the uh, galaxy part of this. And I will see you guys in the next stage. Um, do a thumbs up. Subscribe. Hit the bell. Let's have fun. Making memories with Melody.